Hello there, Croeso, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lemmox, and I'm here today to show you how to do the time trials and how to get the top times for the broom time trial challenges in Hogwarts Legacy. But first, we're going to go through a brief flying lesson. So, once you've done the so got so far into the story, you will eventually get your first broom. You'll get that after doing the flying lessons as part of one of your assignments uh, for the school. And once you've got that, you'll be able to access the time trials. There's also upgrades for the brooms that you can get. There's three of them. And unlocking the upgrades will unlock the next time trials as well. So we'll go through all that. But as I said, a bit of a flying lesson first. So to get your broom out, you hold L1 and then press circle and you'll instantly mount your broom. You can use the left analog stick to go forward or to turn around and the right analog stick controls whether you go up or down. Now I have inverted controls for my flight but that's just a personal preference. This is the normal flight speed, but if you push in the left analog stick, you'll start going much faster. Don't need to hold forward at this point, you're just going to automatically travel at the fastest speed that you can. It makes the broom a little bit more difficult to control, but you're going to need to get used to it if you want to get the top scores on the time trial. There's also a boost if you hold L2 you'll go a little bit faster and you'll see there's a yellow bar the bottom right corner of your head and that will deplete eventually although it seems with the top upgrade that never happens so even I learned something in doing this video I've only recently got the final upgrade and to get the top scores in the time trial you will need the upgrades but you can still beat the story part of it without those upgrades. So we'll go now into how you do these time trials and how you get those upgrades. So once you've got your broom, you want to head to Hogsmeade and you want to go to Spin Witch's Sporting Needs, which is the store with the little golden snitch symbol. And then you'll come across Albie Weeks. And this is where you will be able to buy new Hello. brooms. Now, I'll be here will tell you that the brooms he sells are better than the bog standard one you get from that you get straight away after doing your flying lesson, but that's just not true. Apart from aesthetic differences, all the brooms handle the same. It's the broom upgrades that make the difference. Now, he will give you a set of quests to get those broom upgrades. And part of that is to do the broom time trials. So once you've accepted this chain of quests, you'll start unlocking the time trials. So once you've spoken to him and had a look at his store, you can buy one of the brooms if you want, but as I said, you don't need to. But once you're finished, you'll be given your first quest to go to the first time trial. The first one is at the Quidditch pitch, and unfortunately there is no Quidditch in this, but these time trials are I found them a lot of fun. And you'll come across a Melda Rays, uh, slithering with a bit of an attitude problem. To complete the quest line for these time trials and for the upgrades, she's the only one you really need to beat, but I like to go for the top times myself. I'm going to warn you though, the first time you do these, you can't get the top times at each of the time trials without the following upgrade, so you can get close and get really close. But We'll now go matter. into Everyone the very first of the time trials. So, on to the first time trial. And the aim is to follow a course around and fly through these Quidditch hoops. 
you'll see these little yellow balls dotted around between the hoops. These give you a boost of speed. You want to be holding L2 while you do this to get yourself a boost. As you can see, collecting these yellow balls refills your boost and gives you a good uh, acceleration boost. And the first time that you get to go up against it is Metal Does Tie. You would have noticed in the beginning that there was a ghost that is representative of that time, so you can see what you're racing against. And as long as you're smooth, it shouldn't be too hard to beat this ghost. The trick comes in trying to get the top time. I've said you can't really beat it until you get the, up the next upgrade, and as you'll see from this video, right after I do this, there'll be another clip, and it'll be me trying to get that top time. I get ever so close. You want to be smooth as you're flying. It's very easy to, for lack of a better word, to get your wobble on as you take a tight turn uh, you make a lot of quick adjustments it's very easy to lose your sense of direction but as you can see we get to the end here and i've absolutely smashed the tie that imelda set i uh, just want to show you here that if you ever miss one of the hoops instead of completing the race you just fly off it'll tell you you've abandoned the track and it'll reset you back now here we go i'm going for the top time once you've beaten imelda's time the next ghost you'll get is the time is the ghost for the number one time and it is a 132.08 and i get ever so close but it's just unfortunately not meant to be and i did try quite a few times to get that to beat that time without needing the upgrade but from what I can tell, you need to get that first upgrade before you can beat that number one time. And you won't get that upgrade until a bit further in the story. Once you've beaten a Melda for the first time, you'll return to Albi and he will tell you that he's going to develop this upgrade. And you'll get it once you move on to the autumn part of the game. So I'll leave you now to watch me do this run as I get ever so close and then the next one you'll see will be me with that very first upgrade going for this challenge again.
So this is the second time trial. Once you've got your first upgrade, uh, you'll be given a quest to go do this the second time trial to feedback and report to Albie on its effectiveness. And then so once you've completed it and beaten Imelda the first time, you'll go back to Albie. He will tell you he's going to develop another upgrade based on your feedback and you'll then have to progress the story a bit more until you get that further upgrade and that second and third upgrade come during the winter term so I'm just gonna it's gonna be the same setup again it's me doing this challenge beating Melda quite handily then I try to refine my time just to this See if I can beat that number one time but alas we need the upgrade once again so well you'll get to see those runs now and then I'll go through the final challenge Rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I'm getting the hang of this. Brilliant.
say that was acceptable. <gasps> that wasn't too bad. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. So here we are, right at the south end of the map. You only unlock this once you get to the winter period. And from there you'll be able to you'll get the once you've done the story a bit, you'll eventually get the quest to unlock this time trial challenge and to get the last two upgrades. This is now with the second upgrade and the time I set on the time trial before where I beat the number one time, that was with the second upgrade as well. I haven't got the third upgrade yet. It isn't until the very last run of this video where I'm actually using that final upgrade. And this challenge proved to be, well, as the last challenge, it was actually uh, quite challenging. With the others, once you've got the upgrade, I found you quite handily beat the number one time. But for this one, do you need to refine your lines, make sure you're getting these boosts as much as you possibly can. Because while you've got all these upgrades, you'll see that the room for the number one time is actually faster than what you've got. To be honest, I wish I could get my hands on that broom. But the advantage you have are these yellow balls that will give you the speed boost. And that is what will win you this challenge because the number one time isn't using them. And it can, if you miss too many of them, they'll catch up to you, overtake you, and you just won't be able to get that time back. So get smooth. Be smooth on the analog sticks with your steering. Make sure you learn the line, learn the course. They are really good courses, actually. And I would be interested if any of you want to comment and tell me what times you've got. Maybe you've beaten the times I set. I hope you have. Gives me something to aim for then. These aren't perfect runs by any stretch of the imaginations, but Excellent. by the time you've done all three time trials, You'll eventually end up with all three upgrades and Pretty what is fine. the fastest mount in the game. So, I hope this has been informative, helps you out somewhat. I hope watching me do these time trials will help you improve yourself. And I just want to say, Dioch, and thank you for watching.
too difficult. Ha ha! This is rather fun! 